This OMP Bighorn is my only balsa and plywood RC airplane. And the thing is, I keep coming back to this RC airplane time after time because it just is such a fantastic flying RC airplane and I really dig the, the looks on this one. There's one th thing missing and it's LED lights. I mean, um, every RC plane should actually have some sort of LED light, even if it's just only like a, a light in the nose you know, something to just uh, help orientation and the RC plane will look so much better. So OMP, if, OMP, if you hear this, uh, I think uh, put LED lights in this one in a future upgrade revision. But uh, let's just go outside and fly this lovely big horde once more. <laughs> Just a really smooth takeoff with this big horn. I have no wind today, so just perfect flying condition. I think the 1.2 meter wingspan size as this big horn down is just a perfect plane just to have some fun with. It is not too big to haul around. And this big horn is just, um, I mean, it flies fantastic. A little things to complain about. Just a fun, agile, easygoing RC plane. You could certainly just choose. If you want to do lots of aerobatics, or if you want to fly this more scale. So the flap settings and it works just fantastic. No ballooning, just slows the RC plane down. Just has to be a little bit careful not to tip stall it if you make too tight turn. But I discovered that this is just a great landing RC plane, so easy going, so smooth. I have replaced the wheels, so these are Caven airfield wheels, so they do help making it smoother. And it's also surprisingly agile, just as the clipping cub from E-Flight. I think the clipping cub and this, uh, they fly really similar actually. And both are 3S RC airplanes. But the landing gears on this big horn is uh, much better. I haven't really managed to, uh, to break them, uh, although I've crashed my big horn three times, or the first big horn I got, and this is the second one. I crashed it due to uh, faulty aileron servo, so in the end, the plane just took a nose dive and went down. And I heard lots of complaints about servos uh, in. Um, in, in many other OMP RC airplanes uh, being faulty, so that's not really a good thing. I replaced mine with an Emax 17 gram servo. I mean, it's just too easy to get this one down on the main, it's a really good weight. Flares just fantastically smooth. You get plenty of power just to start doing things whenever you like. So I would say with, with speed you would not stall this RC airplane, uh, but I, I would also be a little bit careful about just doing excess move it, movements of the rudder. So I've uh, rec decreased uh, mine to 80% because it does turn so sharp with the rudder, so it's actually easy to be a little bit surprised uh, by how sharp it turns. And although it's not too dark today, it's early morning, I can see that LED lights will really make this OMP Bighorn uh, an even more beautiful RC airplane and also easier to orientate in the sky. So let's go in for another landing. That's the thing about this big horn, it's so enjoyable and smooth to land, so I just want to make a lot of landings. Most of them are really, really smooth.
I mean, you can go really slow if you make kind of smooth rudder turns without this uh, stalling. So if you have a, like here, it will actually bounce if you have a little bit of a plopping down. Just as you make it smooth and flare at the end, it's going to be really, really smooth. There's a little bit of a hollow sound from the fuselage. This is only, it isn't really uh, thick like faux Mars airplanes. So they're just this uh, thin cover and all the uh, vibration and, and impacts are really uh, amplified by the fuselage. So in a way I could just keep on doing uh, landings and takeoffs all day with this RC airplane because it's just so super easy to to do it. It's really enjoyable. So it's a kind of a touch and go with the turn. It's a little bit difficult when you standing on the like short end to do passing touch and goes. It's just a blast to fly this horse airplane. I mean, touch and goes, loops, uh, snap rolls, thumble rolls, inverted, uh, I mean, knife edge, whatever you like, uh, and especially stall turns where you can actually make really steep and, and sharp turns. Uh, so, I mean, it's just a fantastic flying RC airplane and the control uh, servos, the control surfaces are actually really agile. So I have it toned down. I think that I have the rudder at 80%, I have the ailerons at 90% and I have lots of expo like 30 or 40% just to have this one uh, control in the way I want. But if you want to fly this just super crazy, you could certainly just remove all expo and fly it on 100 or 120 percent and you will have an even more agile RSL plane. So the one thing that this shares then with the Night Timber X is actually if you have a fly this one up in a, in a low speed and you make a tight turn uh, it will drop. I mean uh, you can actually feel it, <laughs> it stall pretty pretty fast and it's the same on the Night Timber X or Timber X. Uh, so that's uh, because they are you know, the same uh, wingspan as, as this RC airplane. So that's something to be aware of that tight turns is not a strong thing about this RC airplane. Although I think it's much better than on the Night Timber X. So the OMP Bighorn in that respect is much better. But if you compare this one then to RC planes like the FMS Ranger 1200mm or FMS Kingfisher, uh, 1.4 meter. I mean, these planes you can actually just do so many stupid tie turns, uh, and and then the plane will never stall. Uh, so I mean, but overall, uh, it takes a lot for this RC plane to fly bad. It's just a fantastic uh, flying and looking RC plane.